Yeah, Steve, we're right across from the Pendry Hotel where this all started last night. The only signs of what happened, a makeshift memorial that's popping up. There are now three bouquets of flowers out in front of the hotel this evening. This, of course, a much more violent and chaotic scene that you just described. San Diego police telling us this afternoon that they already plan to have more officers down here tonight to prevent things like what happened last night from happening again. Four people shot one person, another victim, a fifth one, lost his life here outside the Pendry Hotel. This man says he's the son of one of the victims of Thursday night shooting in the gas lamp. Just hoping for the best and staying positive and not trying to freak out. David, who didn't want to give his last name, says he came down here this morning trying to find his dad's truck and told us his 68-year-old father had come down to watch him play last night but never made it to the show. Trying to come to my show. It's my first show in 13 months. I'm a musician. I haven't been able to work for 13 months. I got the first show I drove from LA down here to play. David says his father was shot in the stomach and is now in stable condition. Tough as nails, so I think he'd be all right. But uh, I don't really know what to make of it all. I I, that's insane that other people got shot. And Police say two of those other victims are also in the hospital being treated for their injuries. A 27 year old man shot in his upper body a 26 year old man with a gunshot to his arm. Another victim who was also shot in the arm, a 28 year old man was treated at the scene. A fifth victim, another 28 year old man didn't survive. He was working as a valet parker at the Pendry Hotel when he was shot. Both the Pendry and Ace Parking, who the hotel contracts with, released a statement Friday reading in part, our Ace Parking family is deeply saddened about the incident that occurred last night in the gas lamp. Our condolences go out to the victim, a beloved ACE employee and his family. We're also in the process of establishing a GoFundMe page to support the victim and his family. So right now, none of the names of the victims are being released, including the man who died. They say they are still trying to get in touch with next of kin family members at this hour.